Hey, what's up, how's it going? I was just browsing through TikTok, uh, trying to figure out who eats the most butter in the world. And it's definitely this guy, our friendly neighbor who absolutely never acts creepy around children. This is a full day of eating in Italy with Butter Mom. We both ate 10,000 calories. Yeah, right. I'm supposed to believe that you ate 10,000 calories and you aren't morbidly obese and your mother did the same. Sure, buddy. You would more easily convince me that the earth is flat. Also, this has to be the most supportive mom in the world. We first arrived in Venice, Italy, right around 11.30. We then had a little walking tour and tried some traditional foods. This one yeah. was a deep-fried ham and cheese sandwich with some mozzarella cheese. As we were walking around, we decided... Mozzarella? What? I think he's mispronouncing names on purpose. Biggest troll ever. Fried ham and cheese sandwich with some mozzarella cheese. As we were walking around, we decided to stop for a little light lunch, which was some proschiato with a pickled onion on a little piece of bread, which was so good. Then we went to the store. And all right, all right, all right, all right. What is this? Lace uh, bread? Come on. Uh, looks like he's actually doing something different. And that would be the fact that he finally started to eat vegetables or grains, you know, things that have fiber, things that make you poop. That's good. Very nice. To be fair, he probably didn't go to the toilet for seven weeks or something. Had a whole entire bag of Gusto Bacon Lay's chips, guys. Then we both had ten spider burgers. With a side of six donuts and three raw testicles. <laughs> then we both... What the f*** is a spider burger? And donuts and testicles? Uh, that sounds like a totally appealing combination, right? I can imagine how uh, the complementary opposite tastes are... Uh, harmonizing each other, yeah. Then we both wanted to try the Italian butter, so we both had two sticks of butter, and it wasn't as good as I thought. I was pretty disappointed with this one, guys. Then we had a little snack in the afternoon, which was some cheese with a little bit of honey. Let me guess, this is the only thing that his mother ate. The first meal and this meal, and everything in between. It was just his own sick 10,000 calorie binge. She did not eat that. And then we made some homemade pizzas for dinner and ate the entire thing. And to finish off the day, both of us did 5 grams test, 15 IUGH, 500 grams Winstrol, 500 grams DACA, 15 what? grams Tren, and 5 grams... What the f***? Those are steroids. What? He's just trolling. He's acting like the liver king or something now. He definitely filmed his mom without permission. He was just like, oh yeah, you know, come here. I just want to record our uh, vacation. I definitely won't post it on my sick, disturbing TikTok channel. She probably doesn't even know that he does that. Alright, so the saga continues. He is still in Italy with his mom, Butter Mom. She doesn't know she's called the Butter Mom, but uh, she is. This is everything I ate in Italy. I have gained nearly 50 pounds in just one week. We first started off the trip with some breakfast, one cap- 50 pounds in just one week. Of what? Undigested poop in your guts? Come on, that is impossible. We first started off the trip with some breakfast, one cappuccino, two pistachio cookies, one pound of cheese, one pound of salami, one pig's head, five cannoli. Pistachio salami. He's mispronouncing every name on purpose, right? Or am I just uncultured? I don't think I am. One pig's head, five cannolis, one stick of butter wrapped in a paraschiato, one stick of butter dipped in Nutella, one pig's... <laughs> what? Butter dipped in Nutella. <laughs> Nutella, bro. And then he ate, he, he ate the pig head. Those definitely all filmed in one day, right? in Nutella, one pig's head proschietto sandwich, ten more pastries, six shots of Lamoncello, one plate of cold cuts, one entire pizza, one very rare two kilo Florentine steak, a board of proschietto meat, a glass of white wine, a glass of red wine, bolognese pasta, one more- <laughs> Bolognese, what an idiot. <laughs> okay, okay, so this wasn't one day, this was the entire trip. There's no way you could eat this in one day, you would just puke or die. I don't even know what would happen. You would for sure end up in a hospital. 
Bolognese pasta, one more glass of wine, one shot of sweet wine, one entire testy pizza. Pistachio cannoli, two shots of espresso. I, I'm sure they made you a testy pizza just for you in the restaurant. Cannoli, two shots of espresso, one Americano, fried polenta, wild boar with some mashed taters, pistachio gelato, one pastry with raw beef, a whole plate of... He's evolving. He's transforming into his final form. Pastry with raw beef. You know, you need to start cooking that sh and stop mixing sweet things with animal products like meat. Whole plate of beans, one plate of salami, one plate of cheese, one more glass of wine, some steak tartare, some sink pizzle pasta, one glass of wine, one more glass of wine, four more bottles of wine, one more glass of wine, sure, some sure. gelato, and another plate of beans. One. You really think anybody believes you, bro? This is the ultimate troll at this point. You know what? I think his diet is still pretty stupid, but uh, at least he started to eat some uh, fibrous foods that actually make you go to the bathroom, you know? But uh, he still uh, doesn't want to eat fruit. He eats this instead. You need to eat fruit! Guys, I eat fruit all the time. This is beef watermelon. Three pounds of raw beef. It's fruit. It's uh, the watermelon beef fruit. Would you eat this? No, I would not eat that. F hell, who would eat this? Would you ever eat that? How much money would you ask to eat this? I would probably eat this for a million dollars, I don't know. Because this is what I eat. Yeah, sure. <sighs> Delicious. Delicious. I mean, he isn't showing himself swallowing it. Uh, there's many, many edits in this video. I think I underestimated the amount of raw beef that this really is. This is definitely a sane man on a healthy diet. It's not going down as easy today. I'm just gonna save the rest for later. Beef watermelon. Delicious. This one is just seriously concerning. 13 pounds of raw testy! Yummy! Time to eat, guys. I haven't had testies in over a week. So this is the first meal I'm having back in the States. And oh boy, is it gonna be a good one. 13 pounds of raw testies. Let's see. How stupid is this? This is like so counter, you know, natural, right? Like how many bulls uh, do you have to to get so many testicles it's so stupid it just makes no sense imagine buying this at the butcher and the guy would just look at you are you okay son let's see what i can do with like your sack off. here we go ready go amazing Like Looks like he has his own song playing in the background. Wonderful. Like yeah, the song is sh Sorry, bro. Don't mind me. Fucking Just having a snack. I'm filming a video. Alright, he broke character. He broke character. Would you look at that? He doesn't actually act... Hey guys! Like that in real life. Usually I don't need the core of a testy, it's super veiny. It's like the core of an apple. Right. Alright, we're gonna call it at one and a half. Not as good as I thought it would be. But I'm feeling good. You're gonna call it at one and a half testicle. You had 13 pounds. Brother. You don't even want to see the look on his dad's face. That's actually why he stopped recording. So now that we've met both his mom and his dad, you might be thinking, uh, do they think he's crazy? Well, let's find out in this video. A hotel birthday meal.
Alright, so this is a pizzle shaped sink pasta. In the sink. <sighs> Where do you even get that? Where do you get pasta looking like this? At a sink shop or what? Can you stop singing? God, I'm trying to film a video. <laughs> I said I'm going to the bathroom, but I'm filming a video. Why are you filming a video in the bathroom? Don't ask. What an idiot. Right, and then he finished his uh, strangely shaped pasta. I don't know, uh, we figured out that both his mom and dad uh, think he's crazy and he will probably soon be kicked out of his house or his parents' house. So he's just gonna be living in hotels, eating uh, strange uh, foods, living off of TikToks, living the dream. This was Butter Dog. I don't even understand if this is real life anymore. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe, click the bell button to get notified whenever I upload. See you in the next one. Peace out.